Revelations. The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously on Last Stop. This is your final chance. I didn't send the damn note. Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. What the hell's happened here? Had a break in. Have you been speaking to Spider? Come to return my driving license. That blackmail <clears throat> note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Put the gun down. Drop it now. Amy? Crap, this really hurts. Wait a minute. No. You're the one who sent me that note. Revelations. Just say that, wow, all right. Come on, Amy. What have you got on me? She's got nothing on you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. oh look at Someone's been doing some digging. Huh. Oh, oh, true interest in color bullying doesn't seem consistent with his daughter's outlook. What a weird family. Total whitewash of only they knew the real story. What the hell? This is just huge in Kandahar. Oh, Jesus. Long school fight praise for honesty. A local school child has been praised for his honesty after handing in a lost wallet full of money. Dylan used eight found the wallet whilst playing in Hogarth Park. Dylan handed the wallet in two. Local counselor Andrew Westfield presented Dylan with a certificate of recognition and a small prize. Dylan's form tutor. Tamara Adelek remarked that she was very proud of Dylan for. He was coming at apples falling apart from the tree. Okay, go slowly, please. Jeez. We could see in the vote against the bomb, 1982 Peckham by election. Air Secretary Samir Patel. The friends, we all know how important it is that we see Indy continue to increase the pressure on government, whichever party is returned to power. An ever increasing majority of the population is opposed to Cruz and Trident. We must ensure that their views are brought fully to national government must make a declaration to the people of Britain and to the people of the world that our issue, nuclear disarmament, cannot and must not be isolated and suffered along with the rest. This weekend's rally will be decisive. Count on page two. Amy's comment, interesting political leaning, doesn't seem consistent with our daughter's outlook. What a weird family. She climbs Nepal peak for charity, 6,000 meters climb while we'll raise money for a local hospital. A recently married teacher from West London will soon attempt to climb on a police. Mountain to raise money for his nearby hospital. Dan Hughes, 35, an English teacher at Dunstan Academy, will start his expedition in the Himalayas next month. His two-week expedition aims to raise money for the local hospital's pediatric wing. Dan Hughes said his wife has been an inspiration for undertaking the adventure. Uh, my wife, Mina, used to be in the armed services and has been all over the world doing her bit to help others. I felt it was my turn to follow her lead, take a risk, and give something back, he said. Always been interested in climbing, but never on this scale before. He added, Dan and his wife, me and I are expecting their first child later this year. How do you expect him to get himself killed? Dan's wife remarked. Website has been set up where you can sponsor. It's in October 2002, I should just rescued in Kandahar. A recent joint British and American operation in Kandahar provi province saw the recovery of several coalition prisoners who had been taken hostage. The mission referred to as Operation Bloodhound is reported to have involved a number of special forces units, including personnel from the Special Air Service. 
Several suspected insurgents were killed in the helicopter led assault on the Shanghold and Kandahar province where hundreds of Taliban had massed in preparations for conducting attacks at coalition. Spokesman said it was a good successful operation conducted by our forces and our hostages have been released. Spokesperson commented the kidnapping of foreigners has become relatively common in parts of Afghanistan since the collapse of the Taliban government in 2001. In his comment, total whitewash if only to know the real story. Makeup. What's in the box? What's in the box? No, oh, don't tell me. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. I can open almost everything. Shoot. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> she must have hacked into the system. She's Remember, confidential. Hence. She doesn't have clearance. <gasps> Members of the being accused of evaluation session A1, lead interview notes. At the request of Project Lead, Peter Hal, candidates are receiving full spectrum psychological evaluations using Q3D's standard psychodiagnostic methodology. A face to face interview and observation session were conducted with Mina Hughes. The nature and purpose of the evaluation was withheld from Ms. Hughes as per, as per project lead stipulation. Subject demonstrated extreme reluctance to cooperate during the interview, treating the process and interviewers with contempt and discourtesy. Subject Hughes clearly feels the test process is beneath her and that she is to be held to a different standard to the members of the organization. Our initial conclusion is that while Subject Hughes is highly intelligent, driven, and a natural problem solver, she's also a classic narcissist, is devious, is likely a compulsive liar and is unsuited to tasks which rely heavily on empathy or compassion. Given our findings and her lack of, cooper lack of cooperation, we have failed subject to use on this occasion. Furthermore, it is our belief that she is pathologically unsuited to a collaborative work environment, is untrustworthy, and poses a risk to the smooth running of this organization. Comprehensive analysts can be found in the accompanying documentation. Comprehensive report, Mina Hughes, evaluation session day two, lead interviewer notes, project lead, Hale, has requested a further round of psychological evaluations for seven candidates, as with the previous round, standard methodologies are being used. Face-to-face -face interview and observation session were conducted with Mina Hughes. We're concerned to note that the Hughes condition has deteriorated markedly since the previous interview. Although uncooperative in the previous session, the subject was found at all times to be lucid and coherent. However, in this most recent interview, subject Hughes appeared agitated and distracted throughout and was unable to provide complete or provide satisfactory responses to many of the test questions. The conclusion would be that the interviewee is currently experiencing extreme stress to a degree that is affecting her rational decision making. In this day, we would consider her judgment impaired and would recommend a period of recuperative leave combined with referral to a medical professional. They again had to fail subject to use, awarding a lower total score than in her previous interview. Given her disposition, should her stress condition not improve, we would be concerned she may resort to irrational self-destructive behavior, even violence. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, Jesus Christ. This is just making me laugh. Oh, man. Oh, <sighs> Why does she have so many bags? My gosh. No, no. No, no, we're good. <sighs> hmm. Why don't you want to pick that one? Sure. Nothing interesting. an Alienware thing? No way, oh, these are movies. <laughs> these are movies. Yeah, movies. Somebody in movies. 
I guess. Go kill them. I know some of these movies. Just work. <laughs> Mr. Miss. She tapped my phone. <sighs> these go way back. I oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, key three engineer, neural security, communications intercept, subject two's Mina, data, SMS, portable telephone, authorized help, Peter, Ajibola, Felix, 510, 19, 4.02 p.m., this is Hughes, thanks for bringing Dylan today, his ear infection appears much improved, good news, keep an eye on things and make an appointment if you have any concerns, always glad to see you both, Dr. Ajibola, Mina, Dr. It's Mina Hughes, what did you say? Do you have a private number I can reach you on? Support. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's so your son's doctor? Oh, wow. Hi, Mina. It's Felix Ejibola. This is my personal number. Is this about Dylan? I don't usually talk if to patients start like this. If you need advice, please call 111 or visit A&E if it's an emergency. Dylan's fine. Actually, Felix, I was wondering if you could help me with something. Wow. Of course, no sense use. If you call the surgery tomorrow morning, we can... So don't form it. Don't be so formal. Hey, I have a gift for you. Oh my God! Fresh out the shower. Like what you see, you should get the oh my gosh. OMG, this is huge. Wow, well, we can't do this. I'm your GP. I'm flattered though. Believe me. <laughs> okay, just out of interest. What are we thinking? Oh wow, 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 wow. Oh, so good. So Felix is a freaking. Kids, doctor. Wow, that is so dumb. <laughs> Movies here. <laughs> Gosh, I hate this. Uh. I don't think she would have anything else. I mean, she already, she already has your, your, uh, phone log. Oh, the password. Oh, the password. Uh, Mr. WSI, August, Directorate of Army, Staffing Street of Defense, Fourth Floor is on Q, Main Building, Whitehall, London, SW1A2HB. Dear Major General Canthorne, I am writing to confirm that Sergeant Mina Patel will be seeking early retirement from the British Armed Forces on medical ground. She will be ending her service <laughs> effectively. Your staff will be notified of any transfer arrangements by telephone. In her time in the British Army, Sergeant Patel has conducted herself in the finest traditions of the service and will no doubt be seen as an exemplary role model for future servicemen and women. Of particular note is her time serving with the 22nd Special Air Service Regiment's most significant her reasons contribution to Operation Bloodhound during the 2001 invasion of Afghanistan, where out of eight soldiers, she was the sole survivor of her squadron. Okay. Bloodhound was an an exemplary, extremely challenging mission involving the recovery of hostages from a heavily fortified compound behind enemy lines. Time is on 2:30. Uh, Patel, sir, efforts ensured a minimum of civilian casualties and the safe recovery of all hostages. She is accredited to her unit. Patel exists, exists the armed forces after six years of distinguished service. Wish her every success as she returns to civilian life. 
I acknowledge that it is unconventional for a garrison commander to be notified of a personnel change. In this manner, it has been necessary to break with the normal protocols in this instance on the special instruction of the Army Board. Your sincere directors of Army staff. Ministry of Defense, Whitehall, London, SW1, 24 September 2002. Dear Army Sergeant Major Christopher Lawson, Thank you for your private letter of 2 September in regard to the confidential inquiry into the events of Operation Bloodhound. I have taken the time to review the findings personally. I must say I am utterly unsatisfied with the inquiry's conclusions in particular as they relate to the conduct and actions of Sergeant Mina Patel. Christopher, I'll be frank with you. Bloodhound is a monumental disaster and the Americans are breathing down my neck over this. The PM is furious. What was Patel thinking? I know you chaps and the SAS picked these people for their initiative, but we don't expect them to act like bloody one-woman armies. According to report, in the space of 40 minutes, what was meant to be a covert reconnaissance mission to assess the status of our missing people resulted in the effective loss of SAS H Squadron, the loss of an entire U.S. Navy SEAL team, and an as yet unidentified number of Afghan civilians killed or wounded, all because of Patel's reckless decision to deviate from orders and proceed with the rescue. Your Sergeant Patel appears to have decided to play the hero and take matters entirely into her own hands. She rescued the hostages, I grant you, but my word, the reputational damage she has done, not to mention the cost and lives. Heads need to roll over for this, and I'll be damned if mine is one of them. As I see it, Patel's career is finished. We'll have to spin this as a success, of course. I don't want the media getting a whiff of what a cock-up this has been. As far as our messaging is concerned, Patel saved the day, but I want her as far from public scrutiny and the British Armed Forces can be arranged. See, this is... See that it's done, and make sure to remind her of her obligations under the Official Secrets Act. My God, Chris, what a shit show. You are Secretary of State for an offense. <laughs> oh, a key. No, was a cat? I didn't see a cat. Wow, I hate her even more. Uh, this one should be a star. What the? <laughs> Huge stalker. Jack, what the heck does Jack have to do with this? Wait, what did I miss? Ah, I get a headache. I was like, no, no, these chapters are too short and too long at the same time. I was like, I don't know what the hell happened. What does Jack have to do with this, Jack? Acting suspicious. Oh, wait. Yeah, Amy, Amy was having with Jack, right? I don't remember. <laughs> this much. This it's like from Linda's military career. Okay. Almost everywhere. And I'm looking around before I just go to the computer. Okay, just computer then. That. Mistopheles, 1992. Uh, the task at hand from Peter Hell to Amy, get it done, Hell. Original message, uh, the task answer. With respect, I'm starting to have serious reservations about this assignment. When you asked me to investigate Hughes, I was appreciative of the trust you placed in me. However, the deeper I dig, the harder it is for me to understand your interest in her. The mini Hughes I read about at Sandhurst appears to be an idealized fabrication. In reality, she's ruthlessly self absorbed, ill disciplined, and engaged in numerous questionable activities, many of which pose a security risk. She clearly doesn't have Q3D's best interests at heart. Sir, can I suggest we? Pause my surroundings here. Surely there's nothing further to be learned. The case against her seems open and shut. If this assignment has been a test of my loyalty to you and the organization, I hope I've demonstrated both. Obviously, I want to do whatever is for the good of the company. I just feel my skills could be put to better use in other areas. 
True detective. That son of a bitch. <laughs> You've been playing me, you son of a bitch. All right, Hughes. Take a breather. Not until you explain what the hell you've been up to. Okay, you got me. Now settle down. Amy's dead. So is a kid. You're not here because you're upset about that, and we both know it. <sighs> Just tell me what's going on. Why have you been messing with me? Because you got sloppy. You let Amy get to you. Your house isn't in order and you failed your psych exam. You know how many advisors told me to cut you loose? She's a has-been, washed up. But they don't know what you're capable of, do they? Operation Bloodhound? Yeah, not a proud moment you there. You just need the right conditions. And so here we are. The right conditions? Threatening my family, you mean? Stop kidding yourself. It's the job or the family. You can't have it both ways. That's why you stepped back, wasn't it? Ah, Find someone else. Pete. The portal's open. What? It's true. It kicked into gear about 25 minutes ago. Really? Oh, are you the kid that... Stable, but <laughs> we're good to go. We just need a candidate. Come on, Hughes. This is it. The big one. Don't you want to know what's on the other side? Fuck. I'd rather have gone with family. <laughs> I've been waiting up. Where the hell are you? <sighs> I'm at the office. Listen, I don't have much time. I need to talk to you about something. What do you mean? Are you, are you okay? You're gonna hate me for this, but I need to leave for a bit. What are you talking about? It's work. D just come home and we'll discuss it, okay? I wish I could. I wish I didn't have to tell you like this over the phone, but I have to go now. There's been no time to prepare. It does Are not you make serious? Sense, but still, I don't like your attitude. You're working in the field again, aren't you? Is that what you've been doing all these evenings? Getting prepared? Hiding it from me? I can't believe you. Yeah, that's basically it. How can you do this to us? How can you be so selfish? Selfish? I did everything you asked of me. I gave up everything. My life. My reputation. You think I like what I've become? I can't stand it anymore. Oh, so now it's my fault. Well, what about me? What about Dylan? When does he come into this? I don't know, Dan. I just need to do this, okay? We can talk about this when I get back. And when will that be? Right? You, you can't tell me, right? Could be any time. Could be never. I've had enough, Mina. I'm sick of it. I've bent over backwards trying to keep this family together with all your late nights and your weekends, but what can I do with this? I mean, do you think I'm a mug? No, Dan. I'm serious. Am I a mug? Maybe I am. If you go tonight, I don't want you coming back here. Fuck. Dan, please. I have to do this. Well, I hope it's all worth it. Because you have destroyed this family. Left or right?
I read the brief. An extraction mission. How do you even know she's alive? That's a good, uh, that's a good ass question. Yeah, I figure. Because she has to be. It says in the brief she went missing 38 years ago. 38 years? You would have been, what, 16? Was there a romantic link there? It's not important. I need to know where she's been for these years. I'll bring her back, sir. I'll get the job done. That's all I want to hear. And if I don't return? I'll honor our arrangement. Your family will be looked after. If it comes to that, just do one thing for me. Just, um, tell Dan I'm... Just make sure they're compensated, okay? Don't forget, we're making history here, Mina. If this transition works, who knows what we'll have access to. Resources, technology, culture. The extraction mission is just the first phase. This is the next frontier, right here. Now show them what you're made of. Have to wear that. Monitor set to record. Readings are nominal. Environment at the horizon reads steady. Gravitation, electromagnetics, and radiation all within predicted norms. Centigrade. I can feel an updraft from the anomaly. Cooling system operational. Back now. I say you're the best for last. 